out the pieces of this puzzle Looked in your eyes, got in all kinds of trouble Sixteen days and I'll be leaving But in seven or eight I'll be screaming Hit the road and I hit it so fast My body moves on but my mind stays back Sixteen days and I'm still dreaming Good soup. Give me something to believe in Turn the brightness in the tag Good morning guys. I am starting my morning off drinking a cup of bone broth. I've been loving to do this lately. I've actually drank bone broth for like the past four months, but I did slack off there for like three weeks to a month. I literally just kept forgetting about it. But lately I've been loving the Dr. Kellyanne bone broth packets. The one I'm drinking this morning is the home style. They have a great protein content by the way. These have 16 grams of protein. The higher protein content, the better. The more protein, the more bones they use, the more benefits you're gonna have. This is the highest protein content bone broth that I found. They're in powder packets as well, which is really easy and convenient. I showed you guys how I make it this morning. Literally tear one open, pour it in a cup, pour hot water on it. I used a tea kettle, but you can use a microwave and that works just fine. But I try to drink one of these every single morning. Sometimes if I forget, I'll drink it at night. And sometimes I'll drink it one at each because I do like it before bed as well. This one that I'm drinking today, the home style one, it tastes kind of like a soup to me. Bone broth is a flavor that you do have to get used to, I feel like. It's not just like a chicken soup broth. It's a little bit different, but this is a really, really good tasting bone broth. All of the Dr. Kelly and bone broths I've tried, I don't have to add anything to, and I love the taste just on their own, which is really nice. It's less that I have to do. These are some of the flavors I have so far. So the home style one, this is actually like my third box of this. Lemon lavender, I have three left in this. There's seven packets in each box, by the way. This one is my favorite to drink at night. It just, the lavender just relaxes you so much. This one is probably my favorite. It's Thai lemongrass, and you can really taste that hint of lemon in this one. It's amazing, love this one. Then they have a French onion. This one tastes just like a French onion soup to me. And then the last one is Bone Broth Gut and GI Support. I actually have not opened this one to try it yet. I'm very excited to see how this one tastes. These also have no fat, no sugar, no cholesterol. They're non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, because I was doing gluten-free for a while. I'm sneaking some in now and not being too restrictive about it. And my stomach's still okay. I still bloat, but I think the bone broth helps keep that down some, but it is gluten-free in case you're worried about that. And another little thing I'd like to add, it's not gonna break your fast. And I like it in the morning because I'm not a huge big breakfast person right when I wake up, but this is nice because it keeps me from being starved up until I can grab something to eat, which is nice because I'm not a coffee person. So now that I've talked about the actual like bone broth, this one's a great one to try. I'm gonna leave my code down in the description box. You can get 20% off the homestyle flavor to try. I'm gonna show you my stomach. Okay, so this is today. This is this morning, not sucking in. They're sucking in, not really bloated. This was my first day back to drinking bone broth. Keep in mind, I hadn't drank it for like a month before this, but this is what I looked like the first day. I had some bloating going on, discomfort, not great digestion. And then this was like a week and a half to two weeks after, and I didn't have much bloating. My stomach was flat. My digestion was just a lot better in general. So I've been drinking bone broth a while. I can tell a big difference when I have it versus when I don't. I also notice a pretty big difference in my hair, my skin, and my nails. And that's because of the collagen in bone broth. And my skin just looks a little bit glowy. I'll let you guys see. And I have nothing on my face today because I just wanted to show you guys. I kind of just wanted to do a bone broth update since I did post that video starting my health journey a few months ago that I'm still liking bone broth, still drinking it. I've tried all kinds of different ones. This is one of my favorites. Let me know if you've tried bone broth, like what your favorite is. Let me know if you've tried these and if you like these. I'll also link my TikTok if you want to see more like 
in-depth TikToks about my bone broth benefits, my journey, things like that, different ones I've tried. I'll also link Dr. Kelly Ann's TikTok so you can watch some of her stuff. She can probably answer your questions about bone broth better than me. I'm still learning and she literally has made her own brand because she likes bone broth so much. But I'll talk to you guys soon. Give us a thumbs up and let me know if you have tried or want to try bone broth. And if you end up trying it, let me know your results down below.